What up, G Life fam? It's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. You know what I mean? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out the playlist, all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, the playlist where I have all the videos and folders makes the video you're looking for a lot easier. Now, what I wanted to talk about was uh, a video um, talking about what are party crews. You know what I mean? Because I get some people asking right here. Because uh, when I cover the G files, I say that some of these neighborhoods used to be uh, party crews that became neighborhoods. Now, what's a party crew? Uh, back in the days, uh, they still exist now, but not like how it was before. Like back in the days, um, they used to be party crews. So a party crew was like it was it was like a crew. It wasn't like a tagging crew or like a tag banging crew. It was a group of individuals, you know, that would get together. Uh, they used to give their crew whatever name there was, you know, like before there was. Um, you know, like uh, Rebel, Party Boys, Party House, um, uh, A1Aders, um, uh, The Alcoholics. Uh, there were several, you know, they would give their name. And, and they would throw parties, right, at people's houses. Whoever, whoever had the house or whoever found the house. Sometimes it was in an abandoned warehouse, at a hall. You know what I mean? But they would throw the parties, right? And then they would charge in the entrance, you know. Uh, back in the days, it was like about, like, you know, it depends. It depends the price. You know, some people will charge. You know, three three dollars for every guy, two dollars every guy, five dollars every guy. Uh, the women always got in for free. Uh, you feel me? Um, they would sell beer in there and Nas and other, you know, paraphernalia. <laughs> and it was it was a pretty much a big old party. You feel me? Um, now, and just like everything else, you know, like tagging crews that think that they're gangsters or tag bang crews that think that they're gangster, or whatever. So there was party crews that thought that they were gangsters. You know what I mean? Some of them actually had real gang members from other from other gangs, because uh, it's not like they're it's not like they're hood hopping or nothing like that. Because uh, it's like a car club. You know, some of the car club guys belong to to actual gangs. Uh, so party crew, it, it was uh, you know kind of the same thing. Uh, but some of these guys, uh, you know, took took that to a whole other level and started uh, actually representing it like if it was uh, like a gang. And there was party crews that used to beef it with other party crews because, I don't know, like, they would try to compete with their prices. You know, it's like everything. It's like turf. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when the guy's selling drugs and then another guy decides to sell drugs right there, too. And they're like, hey, man, you can't be doing that. And boo, and then they get into some beef. Uh, so the same thing was happening with party crews. You feel me? So some of these neighborhoods uh, that are around now uh, started off as, like, these party crews. You know what I mean? Uh... But some of these guys were wannabes. They were just dressed like gang members, but they weren't really about that life. You know what I mean? That was just the steal, I guess, of their party crew. They, that's what happens when you try to grab gang banging and you try to, uh, you try to facade it. You know what I mean? It, it's definitely gonna blow up in your face. You know, this life is not a life to be trying to, uh, to try to imitate or or, or 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 mess with or like if it's a game, it's not. You know, other real motherfuckers have actually gave their life for this shit. So if you try to grab it and try to, uh. Uh, you know, use it like that, you know, like just for show or, 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 or any type of way like that, you're going to get motherfuckers running up on you, you know, with the strap and they're going to blow your dome out. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just pretty much how it goes. Um, you know, that's why a lot of people, uh, uh, give a bad name to party crews. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these fools were getting punked and slapped around and, you know, and they would bitch out. That's, so that's why, um, everyone's seen party crews as just like, these wannabes or these lames and stuff like that were all of those guys lames probably not but you know since that's the reputation that a party crew had it's just the reputation that it stuck with um you know what i mean um but yeah that's what like a party crew was you know they used to just get together uh, you know these individuals then they used to like pitch in their money or whatever and just throw the party you know get the dj and you know yada yada you know they even had a party line now what was the party line the party line was um it was pretty much uh, social media, so what's uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all of that, uh, just through the phone. So you would call, you would call this number, and it used to have nine rooms. You know, what it, whichever room, you know, sometimes it would be packed. You had to keep calling until it wasn't packed. You know what I mean? And you had like, you had like hundreds of people on the phone. You know, at, um, at once, e each each number was a room. So like, if you would press one, that was room one, room two, room three, all the way to room nine. You know, like how they had it on the phones. And each room had like, I think the maximum people that you could fit in a room was 10 people. So you, it was like 10 different people, like calling from all different parts, from Bakersfield. Because uh, it was different party line numbers. So you had people from Bakersfield, from from the Italian Empire, from Los Angeles, from the Valley, whatever. And then uh, they would meet up. Uh, um, 
Uh, you know, that's how they would promote their their parties. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're having a party, you know, uh, over here on so-and-so street. and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? They used to hand out flyers as well and stuff like that. But um, the party line was definitely, you know, if you wanted to know where the parties were going to be at or if homies wanted to meet up with some with some females. Um, you know, like that, like how social media is nowadays, you know, uh, but that's just how it was back then, you know, so that's how a lot of folks used to, like, meet up all these, uh, females or, or knew where the parties were at, you know what I mean? You, you know, you used to call a party line and see what was cracking on the weekends, you know what I mean? I mean, it was open from Monday through Sunday, but I'm saying, like, you know, ma- you know, majority it was a weekend, you know, you wanted to see what was cracking. Um, and boy, was it ever cracking, you know, so that's how a lot of homies used to, like, Roll up to parties and, and find out about parties and, 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 you know, and meet up and all of that. You know what I mean? It was their form of, like, social social media, I guess you could say. Um, the only thing is, is that it was packed. You had to keep calling back and all kinds of shit. And, you know what I mean? Um, so that's pretty much, like, how, how, how homies and, you know, how they used to do it back then. You know what I mean? And, uh... And that is what some party crews, you know, were. Um, nowadays, it's not like that no more. Um, party crews still do exist, but they're not like... Um, I'm talking about in those times, it was like a majority of those party crews were want, like, want to be like gang members, like, you know. But a majority of them were not. They were just fake. Uh, you know, they just looked like homeboys and wanted to act like homeboys. But when it really came to doing what homeboys do, they weren't about that life, my boy. Um... You know, I could vouch for that, you know, uh, back in my time, shit. I mean, not to sound tough or nothing like that, but, man, we used to slap around a lot of them fools. Uh, yeah, because we took offense to it. Like, I myself took offense to it, you know what I mean? Because, um, like I said, real motherfuckers die for this, and then for, for guys over here putting up a front, like, damn. It's like, damn, this is what my homie gave his life for? Fuck that. You, you ain't gonna grab, you know, what he gave his life for and fucking use it, like, fucking napkin, you know? Trash over here. Pistol whip you real quick. Um, but yeah, like, um, but some of them did end up, you know, being about the business and, and moving up the ladder and actually becoming neighborhoods, you feel me? Um, and that's just pretty much what it was. But yeah, in, in those times, that's, that's how the homies did it. So, you know, it's a quick one, just breaking down, you know, uh, what was that? Because I do get asked a lot, uh, when, when I do mention it, people are like, oh, what, like, what's that? What's the party crew? Or, or, or what's, what's all that about? But that's what it was. And uh, it's pretty much how they were doing, what the party language was all about. But this is a quick one. Hey, shout out. We out.